So, so let's let's kind of um, go through this this real world example here and just take it step by step. And you're going to see that ultimately what this is, it's a story, right? We're going to start at the very beginning with number one with, okay, here is the investor. He's an Indian national. Here's his passport. Here's his birth certificate. This is what he's been doing over the years. Here's how he's earned money over the years. And using that money, he has now purchased this multifamily apartment building in Mumbai. Okay, so that you basically now you show how he's able to purchase that. Where did he get that money from? How has he, you know, how long has he owned it? What is the valuation of that? All of that is going to kind of come into play. So number two, prove that it's a real asset, right? You get a current appraisal showing how much the asset is worth. And at the same time, you also want to go to number three. And that is, again, show how the investor got it, whether it's a purchase, whether it was uh, an inheritance, um, maybe it was even a gift from his parents. You want to show the title and the deed passing over to the investor and proving that this is now his property, okay? Now that we've proven, okay, this investor has property, this is who he is, this is how he came into acquiring uh, this property, he now wants to use this property as a, as a collateral for a loan from his friend who happens to be inside the US, okay? Perfectly okay, right? First thing you're gonna wanna do is Cut right out the terms of the loan agreement, right? So you want to get the, the mortgage recorded in the public record uh, for the multifamily apartment building that he's now using as collateral. You want to give a personal guarantee so that it's, it's tied back to you directly as the EB-5 investor. You want to give them a note so that all these legal documents that basically show that this is a properly recorded collateralized loan. This is not just a piece of paper that's actually meaningless. There's a lot of kind of legal steps to take here that prove that this is a legitimate transaction, okay? So now that you've got that recorded, you've shown that this is a real loan, basically, with real collateral, okay, the EB-5 investor's friend is now ready to provide those funds. But where are his funds coming from, right? And that's where you kind of go into, okay, well, let's, let's skip five and go straight to six and say, all right, this is the investor, or sorry, this is the investor's friend, this is his passport, this is his birth certificate, this is who this person is, He's been very successful through X, Y, Z. And in this case, the X, Y, Z is he's got a digital consulting business. Now we want to talk about when did this friend, when did this friend start this business? How is this business doing? How much revenue is it generating? Right. And you go into first the establishment. Here are the incorporation documents. Here's the FEIN showing that it's registered. Uh, it's paying taxes. Here's the operating agreement. You, you show that this is a legitimate company, right? That really has money that basically that they can um uh that, that that he's earning as income and that's going to be the source of his funds now to provide the loan to the investor okay and then the last thing here really is you've shown that he has a real company you've shown that he's a real person you also want to show that he has legitimate income from this business and that's where the financial statements the tax returns invoices um you know Custom uh, order forms, any any of those things are going to show the business doing actual business work, providing income, providing um, financial revenue stream to the friend of the EB-5 investor. In this case, the example shows that this person was making three hundred thousand dollars after tax. Right, that's very important after tax for at least five years. That's enough money, right? That that's enough money. That's about one point five million dollars over the course of five years that they've earned. So it, it's it's reasonable that they would have saved almost half of that. And remember, this is after taxes that they've earned this. So it's reasonable that they would have saved almost half of that and are now able to provide an eight hundred thousand dollar ten year mortgage loan at a market interest rate to the EB five investor. So you really draw this picture, right? As okay, here's the investor. Here's you know, their property that they're gonna be using as collateral. Here's how they came to uh, obtain that property. All right, here's the person who's gonna be loaning them the money. Here's who this person is. Here's the recorded deed, the recorded loan agreement, the recorded mortgage on the, on the property that you know, this is gonna be a collateralized loan. And then, also, and then finally, here's how that friend is being able to provide the money for the loan itself. Here's the business that they've set up. Here's kind of all the money that's flowing through the business, why the business is doing so well, how successful it is, and that is ultimately what leads to 
the loan being made to the investor, which they now use for their EB-5 funds.